We've seen a couple of times now that 276 divided by 12 is 23, and it is. But let me ask this, what if I change 276 to 277? 277 divided by 12, what answer would you expect? Well, I just need one more. I expect the answer 23, and I guess I've got one thing left over. I might say it has a remainder of one. So, would I see that in the dots and boxes method? Well, let's find out. Let's draw a picture of 277 this time. Here it goes. 270, doo -doo -doo -doo, there it is, and 7, 277, great, there's 277. Uh, divide by 12, so I'm looking for 12. So with explosions, that would be one dot spills over, two left behind, one dot next to two dots. And yes, like before, I'm seeing 12 dots are really right here. And 12 dots are really right here, two at the tens level. And 12 dots are also really right here. If I unexplode, 12 dots right there. And 12 dots, whoops, right there as well. And the weird loop, 12 dots right there as well. Yep, I'm seeing 23 with a remainder of one dot. Whoa. Now, different people write remainders in different ways. I think uh, most people in the US use a capital R, remainder one. Um, I think in Australia, I was taught to write a little r, one. But actually, here's the real math answer. Here's the real math answer. The answer is 23, certainly, plus one more dot still waiting to be divided by 12. So actually, the true math answer is 277 divided by 12 is 23 and a 12. One dot still waiting to be divided by 12. Great, so a method can handle remainders.